Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarb al -Fet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the Fakhro family today to express condolences to them on the passing of the family's late dignitary, Qasim Muhammad Yusuf Fakhro. His Majesty held the role of Fakhro family and its continuous contributions to the commercial and investment activities and projects in the kingdom. The members of Fakhro family expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his feelings and sincere condolences which reflect his keenness on communicating with the people of Bahrain in various occasions wishing him abundant health and happiness.
His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet session today at the Gdaibia Palace. His Royal Highness urged the ministries and governmental bodies to control and monitor service sectors under their supervision and to address any practices that are detrimental to citizens. He also urged to enhance the role of monitoring equipment in services ministries and the committees working in them and to take effective actions and measures against irregularities, manipulation and neglect. He also addressed the service Services ministries to submit periodic reports to evaluate their performance. The Prime Minister directed to increase the number of inspectors in services sectors to intensify inspection and control campaigns and to ensure compliance with the laws and requirements to protect citizens and consumers from manipulation and deceit. He also directed to complete deficiencies in various services and to meet service and living needs for the residents of Kerzakan. The Cabinet condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a guest house in Kandahar province and resulted in the death of five Emirati citizens who were implementing charity educational and developmental projects in Afghanistan. It also expressed its deep condolences to the leadership and people of United Arab Emirates, expressing the solidarity of the kingdom with the UAE and restating its condemnation of all forms of violence and terrorism and the necessity of concerting efforts to combat them. The Cabinet approved to increase the number of countries whose citizens are allowed to obtain electronic visas to enter the Kingdom of Bahrain to 114 countries. It also approved to increase the number of countries whose citizens are granted immediate visas upon arrival to Bahrain to 67 countries. It approved two draft resolutions included in the memorandum submitted by the Ministry of Interior in this regard. The Cabinet reviewed a report issued by the Minister of Health regarding the assessment of the level and quality of medical care and treatment services provided by the ministry's medical institutions as well as recommendations to develop its services. The report included the measurements taken by the ministry to avoid medical errors in addition to the measures taken for the development of the emergency department as well as issues concerning the status of doctors and procedures that have been adopted to keep the Bahraini competencies. Also, the report handles the delay in appointments, medicine shortage and the reduction of of time to make an appointment. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa commended the efforts exerted by the Minister of Health to develop the healthcare sector. The Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding between the University of Bahrain and the Embassy of the Republic Korea in Bahrain to establish and operate King Sejong's institution of the University of Bahrain to spread the Korean culture and to establish an institution to teach the Korean language. The Cabinet referred the draft law to the Legislative Authority amending Article 47 of Decree by Law 39 of 2002 regarding the general budget. The Cabinet referred a draft law to the Legislative Authority in light of the Council of Representatives' suggestion regarding the reserve for future generations. The Cabinet referred a draft law to the Legislative Authority amending Article 11 of Decree by Law 7 of 1989 regarding the practice of medicine and dentistry. The Cabinet approved a proposal presented by the Council of Representatives to rehabilitate the coasts from which cabins have been removed. The Cabinet approved a proposal to establish car registration and inspection branches in various areas in Bahrain, which is part of the Government's future plan to privatize the technical inspection of vehicles. The Cabinet approved a proposal regarding the installments of the citizens' residential units approving the Government's draft prepared by the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. And the Cabinet reviewed the proposal regarding the rental of the traditional souk shops where it approved the Government's draft prepared by the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made a significant achievement presented in a new world record for the sport of car racing. The record was set by Team Bahrain 1, which is led by the personal representative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The team is representing Bahrain in local and international events. For this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad affirmed that this great achievement was the result of long preparations carried out by the team members. He also added that 
that the team, which was established in 2005, has made a significant mark in the world of car drag racing and important sports in the GCC countries, particularly in Bahrain, which gained a respectable international reputation for hosting the Formula One event in its international race track. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah went on to state that the team, which consists of Bahraini members, has participated in numerous tournaments, winning three regional championships and two Bahraini ones. He continued to state that the team receives assistance from American automobile experts as the cars were prepared to withstand excessive speeds. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah expressed his thanks and appreciation to the racers Khalid Ali Blushi from the UAE and Steve Jackson from the USA, as well as the staff of technology for their tremendous efforts that they have exerted to achieve such global results that elevates Bahrain's stance in this popular sport. He also extended his thanks to the staff of Bahrain's international circuit for their good organization and to the supportive audience of the sport in the march of developing the competitive and challenging sport of drag racing. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah noted that Team Bahrain One shall participate in many future events, two of which will be held locally and 12 others internationally nationally, notably the drag racing championship held in the United States. PDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today the outgoing Secretary General of the Military Affairs at the GCC, General Secretariat Khalifa Ahmed Al Kabi, in the presence of Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi and Director of Military Security Major General Hassan Muhammad Saad. PDF Commander-in-Chief expressed thanks and appreciation to the outgoing Secretary General for the efforts he exerted during his ter term. He wished him success in his future endeavors. The National Institution for Human Rights, the NIHR, followed the execution of three individuals convicted with the murder of a police officer and two policemen by an explosive device in March 2014. The NHRI stressed that the final verdict by the Court of Cassation was taken after the ex exhaustion of all judicial remedies with reasoned judgments in the presence of independent attorneys in accordance with recognized international standards. The NIHR affirms that the King of Bahrain has not violated any of its international legal obligations by executing the death penalty pursuant to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, ratified by Law No. 56 of 2006, the Arab Charter of Human Rights, ratified by Law No. 7 2006, as well as relevant international customary law and the GCC Human Rights Declaration adopted by the GCC Supreme Council in Doha 2014. The Kingdom of Bahrain's pledges in the Universal Periodic Review Mechanism and the recommendations of the annual report of the NIHR since its establishment. The NIHR commends that law enforcement agencies embodied in the Ministry of Interior and the Public Prosecution have followed the measures afforded in Articles 330, 331 and 332 of the Code of Criminal Procedures issued by Decree Law No. 46 of 2002, which guaranteed that the relatives of the convicted were to meet them on the day of the execution and that the penalty was to be concluded in an un unopened area in the presence of a judge a representative of the public prosecution, a physician, and a religious preacher. The NIHR has furthermore followed the Kingdom of Bahrain's implementation of the UN Security Council Resolution 1373 of 2001 with regard to the elimination of terrorism. The NIHR emphasizes that the government of Bahrain has taken positive measures in the global war on terror and welcomes the issuance and implementation of Law No. 58 of 2006 on the Protection of Society Against Terrorism Acts and its amendments. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah. The Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,220.39 points, marking an increase of 5.18 points above the previous closing. The increase was the in the investment services, hotels and tourism and industrial sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 57% of the total shares. 50 equity transactions included 1,929,826 shares or 374,770 Bahraini dinars.